Alrighty, welcome back to another episode. So in between episodes, our buddy Humble has been making this game and I've been playing it. Uh, a bunch of people on the server have been playing it. And as much as I would love to spend time here to explain how to play it and show you guys a few clips of me actually playing and going through the bosses and all that kind of stuff, um, I don't got a lot of time for it because these games, one match takes about 30 to 90 minutes long. So I don't want to bore you guys with it. But I highly recommend that if you guys want to kind of go learn about this game and want to go kind of see a little bit of clips of people playing it uh go check out humble's channel i'll link the videos in or his channel in the description his last few videos have been him uh building this discussing how it works and all that kind of stuff it's really interesting it's a, all redstone and it's a uh, deck builder card game in minecraft so um i can kind of show you guys i have a here's my deck here so uh I have been wasting a bunch of my time over here playing this and uh, it's time that I actually start being a bit more productive today. So the idea is I'm going to head back over to our base. Alrighty, so back at the base, we spent last episode building this massive thing here and I still have some things to get done with it, but I've taken a bit of a break from the detailing and adding a bit more of the structural things. And as much as I would love to continue working on this project, there are a few things that I kind of need to do beforehand. If you can't tell, this uses a lot of different blocks, but a lot of wood types for the detailing. And I love it. I don't want to change it, but it's a lot of wood. And although we have a wood shop on the server, I don't have, I don't want to spend a lot of diamonds because you can tell um, some of the builds use diamond blocks and diamond ore blocks. And uh, even some of the detailing uh, <clears throat> use diamond ore blocks. And so I don't want to be spending a lot of time mining for more diamonds to go buy materials such as the wood because you need a lot of wood for this. I've, I learned that when I built this first section and we're going to, you know, build this entire crater with more of it. So um, I have a few ideas for today. One would be to go and uh, destroy this tree farm here. I built it. It's great for, to an extent. It has problems though. Um, and so I've decided that it's time to replace it. I'm going to take this down. I actually think I'll probably leave this and take this down in between episodes, but I'm going to actually build a whole new tree farm. And so I need to gather up my materials. We'll build it on the Redstone Island, I think, because mobs won't spawn on it um, over there since it's a Mushroom Island. And uh, that's where I have all my, my uh, mob farms there as well. So I can easily get bone meal and move it without having to move, um, go back and forth with choker boxes, although I'll have to be doing it with the wood. I think that's the best option. So I'm going to gather up materials and head over to the redstone island that I have, and then we can actually start working on building the first part of this episode, which will be the tree farm. Alrighty, folks, so I am at the redstone island. I cleared out this area ahead of time, but we're going to be building our farm here. So here's a peek at the schematic. I'll explain kind of how this farm became what it is um, after I build it. Once I know it works properly in the server, because always server redstone's a little different than single player redstone. Once I know this works properly in the server and lasts long enough, I'll probably switch out the storage system for a uh, automatic shulker box loader and auto loader. So, but for right now, I think it's officially time that we actually start building this. So I'm going to make sure I have all the materials, which I gathered ahead of time most of it i've already had it's not a massive amount of materials needed but i'm gonna double check everything is correct and then start building so uh enjoy the quick time lapse and i'll catch up with you guys in a bit All right, so oh, tree farm is done. Redstone is done. I have to admit, I have taken a really big break from uh, Minecraft recently. I haven't had a major desire to play. So I, I built this and then kind of, you know, I logged off from the server and worked on other things. Um, but this giant ugly mess of redstone works. It it functions for the most part. There are still some issues. Um, as you can see, I've had to place some uh, crying obsidian on here to, to uh, prevent that from blowing up because it had been on. I uh, will probably need to make some adjustments in terms of these crying obsidian bits here and stuff. Um, I will admit, yeah, it's, it's an ugly farm. Um, with the crying obsidian but i'll turn it on i'm not gonna run a tree because i don't have the um i built the storage system i just don't have it actually fully um running but uh or uh you know sorted or whatever you can get an idea with free cam what it looks like so we'll have uh you know the there's six tnt dupers in total 
and the crying obsidian in the center of the farm is meant to prevent trees especially the um, acacia cherry and mangrove trees from growing in a weird pattern um the same goes for this obsidian here prevents um the large spruce and large uh jungle trees from growing super high to where it causes these to blow up so it is that the randomness the tree pattern causes a bit of problems but for the most part this works i may have to just make some a few adjustments in terms of the crying obsidian as i um actually you know run this fully with growing the different tree types but it works for all the trees it works for including the uh, nether trees and if you so much as desire to run mushrooms and get a bunch of mushrooms you can also do that here but um I'll link the video down below for the original design of this farm. Um, so you can kind of see where I got the idea for it. Um, however, I have made a lot of adjustments to this farm because I, know, as I was running the original and testing it out, I noticed a lot of issues that I would be a bigger problem on the server because of, you know, server lag, tick, whatnot, whatever. So that's that. I'm not going to run it for super long. I'm not even going to bother with it. Um, I would prefer it doesn't blow itself up so um that's going to be the next really big thing is when i actually spend the time to run it and stuff i'll uh, have to make sure it doesn't blow itself up too much but yeah that's that that's that's how it is i don't want to be over here <laughs> anymore i don't want to be working with redstone anymore in this episode i've been putting off like everything i've been meaning to do like there's a bunch i had a whole other episode planned um part of this episode we're gonna go do it now, but I did not want to do it. I haven't wanted to do anything. So, <laughs> alrighty. So, as always, here's Willie the Warden, number five. Um, I have a few ideas. I forgot I did this earlier. I totally forgot. I was gonna make some. Uh, I was gonna fix this, kind of clean it up a little bit, and then. Uh... Oh, I forgot I was doing that. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Okay. Okay, I should fix it. I should continue. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll come back to that. Nope. Oh, oh, yeah, that's why I should come back to that. I, oops. I forgot there was a giant hole there. Um, oopsies. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be blocked up anyways. We're going to do that. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> it's fine. Um, let's do, excuse me. So we need to move Willy. That's going to be a fun little thing to do first. But, uh, the, the next, the thing we got to do beforehand is actually build Willy's, uh, house. And he, well, he takes up a lot of space. Um, so <laughs> Willy's house is going to be somewhere over here. Of course, this is going to make future builds that are going to be in the same area a little bit complicated, but I have decided that I'd rather have Willy's new house set up so I don't have to hear him constantly over there. Um, so yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, well, I'll, I'll deal with it. So uh, let me gather. I actually don't even, I can't gather anything. I lied. I need to terraform this first because this giant hill is not not correct i need to fix it so we're gonna i'm gonna uh, probably have to set up another beacon somewhere and i'm gonna take a shovel and listen to an audiobook and uh dig so i'll you know show you some clips maybe of that let's get started <laughs> Alrighty. so basically it is all kind of dug out here i've flattened this area out and so we'll eventually you know build more things over here but for the first part of this area i want to build this thing uh this <laughs> cool little yards thing i have it planned out um hopefully i have it planned out correctly with the rest of the base i believe i do um where it will fit kind of behind some builds but for now i want to focus on this little thing here so here's the schematic it's a bit big and that's because well i don't want people to come screaming at me <clears throat> you know who you are uh about the you know the size of our area that willie the warden will be habitating uh living in and stuff and i i want willie to have a free space i didn't want to just build a tiny little thing for him he has some toys in here so let's go ahead and start uh, actually building this massive thing so i'll uh, get started with it and uh enjoy the time lapse
Alrighty folks, so the yard is done. It was a pretty small slash fun build to make. I'm going to use free cam because I don't have a lot of stuff on me at the moment for a good reason. In the yard here, we got uh, an oil container, um, a bulldozer, a pallet car. We got uh, some of these iron thingies that are not working. Uh, the pistons, which are for good reasons. We have some uh, a train bed. We have a little... Uh, stone habitat thing or stone holder i don't know what to call that <laughs> another stone holder thing um and then this giant satellite here that's kind of rusted it's supposed to be like a tower um then the two smaller ones to kind of help spread uh in here we'll use free cam there's uh just some stone types and then uh, some skull heads so this is was a fun little kind of small build to do over here we got a little bit of redstone, and I cannot touch the redstone because it will break itself if I do on purpose. I designed, not designed, I put this together just to kind of make what we're about to do a little bit easier. Because what we're about to do is, is not going to be easy. Um, I am definitely scared to do this. I don't like it. There's a reason why I have a mass amount of tone in my inventory at the moment. And why I'm in no gear. <laughs> we'll go over and follow this dirt path here. And we will go and find ourself a warden named willy willy the warden it is time for him to be moved and he you can hear him i'm hoping i built these walkways a little bit better than uh i i hope they'll be good enough if not well we'll have a hard time and i might have to hire some help um, but now is for the very fun not so fun part of i must get him out <laughs> Is he in? Is he in? Is he? Please tell me he's in. He's in. He's in. Please tell me that fell. Please. Yes. Oh, redstone. You. Oh my goodness. That took me way far. That was so quick to do. I I need to. Oh, okay. So that worked really well. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh. I. I hate them. I hate them. They tear. He's still mad at me. I don't think he can get out. Nope. He's just. <laughs> he's just standing in the corner. That poor man. He's he's just standing in the corner trying to get to me, and he can't. <laughs> oh yes, yes he is. Look at him. <laughs> That poor cow is going to get obliterated. This is, he's going to be such a problem. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. Um, he has toys. He's, he'll be fine. And he needs to relax. He needs to calm down a little bit. But that was, oh. Okay. That's done. That is, that took me far less than I thought that was going to. And now my stuff is <laughs> He's stuck over there until he stops being mad. I'm going to go chill with the Soglins, I think. We'll leave him be for a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. So that being said, we've spent a good bit of time today, you know, just messing around with Willie the Warden over there. Our little new, uh, his new little house, little yard. We'll uh, continue expanding the base and working around that area at some point. But, you know, I wanted to get him all situated and he's clearly having a lot of fun with that piston over there so that's cool he hopefully he enjoys the area hopefully um the alaya alliance or the alliance 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 sure alliance hopefully they uh don't come knocking on my door anytime soon with fines about willy he's free to do whatever he pleases in that section of our base and uh that being said i think this is where i'm going to end off today's episode if you guys did enjoy please consider leaving a big fat thumbs up for me subscribe if you're brand new and want to see more episodes in the future and hopefully i see you all in the next one peace out bye bye